Duke Law School has made some major changes to its application this year in the wake of the Supreme Court's ban on race-based affirmative action. Let's dive into what this means for you. Hey, what's up, everybody? Steve Schwartz here from LSAT Unplugged, joining you today to share some major changes to Duke Law School's application in the wake of the Supreme Court's ban on race-based affirmative action. They have removed the diversity statement from their application entirely and replaced it with a couple of short essays that are required of all applicants. Let's dive in. Quote, short answer essays required. Our admissions process is guided by the view that a law school class that includes actively engaged students who possess a variety of skills, personal qualities, and life experiences helps to advance the law school's mission, improves the learning process, and enriches the educational experience for all. Please write one or two short essays from the list below. Be sure to label the essays you are answering and use only one attachment even if you submit two short answers. Please limit your answers to approximately 250 to 500 words per essay. End quote. So they're basically saying here that they're going to require you to submit one or two short essays from a list of, in total, six different options. They're giving you six different prompts. You're to pick one or two of those. Of course, you want to maximize your odds of getting in. Choose two, not one. It's more work for you. And to, even on top of that, you likely will not be able to easily reuse these essays for multiple schools. But them's the breaks. You want to do the work because you want to get in. So now I'm going to read each of these six essay prompts verbatim, and then I'll dive into one by one what each of these means for you, how you might be able to hopefully reuse some of them. Let's see. Quote, what does the rule of law mean to you? And what special background or experience do you have that may help you contribute to its advancement or that underscores its importance to you personally? Two, the promise of equal justice is fundamental to our legal system. Why is equal justice important to you personally? And what personal experiences or knowledge do you have that may help you become an effective advocate for equal justice under law? Three, Exposure to a diversity of perspectives and experiences can enhance one's ability to deliver effective professional services. Please describe any opportunities you may have had to serve clients or your community, either through work or on a volunteer basis, and how your own exposure to different perspectives and experiences helped you. Four, lawyers are members of a learned profession and are often called to serve the public in a variety of ways. Please describe your interest in public service and any experience that you have had to prepare you for a life of service in the public interest. Five, please describe your interest in learning the law in an open, rigorous, and collaborative environment. Why is a commitment to the free expression of ideas so important in the learning process? Six, what does ethical leadership mean to you? Please provide examples of how you have prepared yourself to become an ethical leader. So there you have it, six different prompts, a variety of topics, some overlap a little bit, some actually could be repurposed for other applications. In particular, the first and second prompts. Number one was about the rule of law. Number two was about equal justice. Both of these prompts I would group under the category of why law? In other words, why do you want to go to law school? Why do you want to become an attorney? Both of those prompts could easily be repurposed for another school asking why law? Yet one of Yale's optional essays this year has a question along those lines. And so your answer for these essays could perhaps apply to that essay as well from Yale or other schools as well. So consider being strategic in which prompts you choose for one school to help you better answer the prompts for another school. Number three was about diversity of perspectives and experiences. That one is perhaps a good replacement for your typical traditional diversity statement about racial, ethnic, religious, cultural diversity. You could share your background here if perhaps you want to tell the school about your diverse background, but you didn't have another place to do it. This could be that place for you. Law schools are still committed to creating diverse classes, including racially diverse. Even if they are not explicitly asking about it, they do still care very much about achieving that objective. And so sharing your experience here is one way to help them do that and also, of course, boost your chances of getting in. For number four, they're asking about public service. Of course, law schools are committed to 
graduating students who are committed to the public interest. You don't always have to be, but if you are, you definitely want to share that. They love to see it. Number five, free expression of ideas, diversity of background. They want students who value diversity of opinion, diversity of thought, and they don't want students who are going to shout down others who are and limit others from exercising their right to free speech and free expression. And number six, ethical leadership. They want students who will become leaders in business, leaders in politics, leaders in a variety of different spaces. And so if you have leadership experience, you want to, of course, share that here as well. So there you have it, folks. Of course, this year, again, application essays will be a bit tougher because you're going to have to write so many different essays. But you see here that with some strategizing, you could potentially still have the equivalent of a diversity statement because schools do still care about diversity. And of course, you can also potentially reuse some of these essays for other schools as well. If you'd like my help putting together your application essays, there are a wide variety of ways I and my team of editors could help you out. And of course, if you're still studying for the LSAT, there are plenty of ways we could help you out there as well. So check out the links below this video to find out more and to book a call with me and my team. We'd love to help you out. And if you found this video helpful, if you know other students who are applying to Duke Law or other law schools navigating the chaos of law school application essays this cycle, please do me a favor, share this video link with them as well. I don't do any advertising. The only way these videos spread is through word of mouth, and I'd love to help as many students as possible get into the best law schools possible with the most scholarship money possible, best LSAT scores possible. You can help make that happen by just sharing this video with someone who needs to see it. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.